Hello and welcome to part two of how to build a Warbringer Nemesis Titan for Adeptus Titanicus. So as you can see I've progressed a little bit further on building the legs. You don't have to glue it onto the base, you know you, you can um, glue it onto the base as, as the very last thing if you wish. Uh, likewise you don't need to glue uh, this um, groin armour on there. At this point if you didn't glue the groin armour on there, uh, you, you could technically spray it. Uh, you could spray it lead belcher, uh, put a load of shade on it with Norn Oil, and then dry brush it with Necron Compound, and pick out all the pipes and the details and things. I'm not going to do that because I like to build everything as quick as possible and give you a review uh, on the channel. So for me, I don't really have that luxury at the moment. So what I've done is I've built the legs they went together quite well there are a few mold lines it's best to wait until it completely dries and then sort of um, file them off using your, your small file uh, I've already arranged because I like to um, clip a few things off the sprue and get ready to uh, arrange them uh, for application I've now got these armor joints uh, again you could spray these and, and paint them paint them individually and then glue them on but always if you if you decide to do that like with resin uh, miniatures you always kind of run the risk of uh, spoiling your painted work with the glue or with the, the super glue or, or whatnot anyway what I'm going to do is just start uh, gluing these um, supports for the uh, legs so put a little bit of glue there and a little bit in there that was kind of a little bit and then we just pop that on like so and it goes on lovely a little bit of glue there and a little dab there try and use as little as possible and also try not to get anything on the uh, you know the, the foot itself uh, that's why I'm putting a little dab on the pieces rather than the rather than the foot it's not the end of the world if you get a little bit of glue on there but uh, it's just something to uh, keep an eye on don't be too upset if uh, if some of the things don't work out for you because a lot of it will be hidden with uh, with the extra piece of armor that you get um, just as a little side note as I'm doing this as you can see you know because usually the instruction guide doesn't tell you exactly where to glue but on these in particular try and glue near to that top as possible uh, there you go so lovely lovely bit of armor armor pieces there we'll carry on that's a large splodge oh there we go go so that's those pieces on next you've got the side armor pieces and uh, they are kind of a little bit tricky uh, you've got places here uh, where you can glue them onto these little cutouts uh, basically uh, basically these go in in like this bit here goes all the way in there uh, and uh, glues onto the uh, ankle itself or the, the shin whatever you want to call it 
So pop a little bit of glue on there and then pop that in like so. It should go on quite snugly and likewise with this bit. This reminds me a lot like the Reaver Titan armor pieces. So there you go. That goes in snugly too. Up to you if you want to make them meet or not. They haven't on their model on the on the box, so uh, you know you don't have to. And let's just do this side too. So again, find the happy feet medium about there and pop that there find the, the happy place find your happy place and there you go looks pretty good i've also got these these thigh armor pieces so we're going to pop them on let's have a look at the configuration here so you've got a few circles and gaps and all the rest of it uh, they're gonna just fit where the cutouts are so we'll jab a load of glue on there I don't know about this circle bit I don't know where there's that uh, cylindrical piece where that that goes but uh, that should just go on there without any issues and likewise for this piece jab a load of glue on there and put it like so and then the final uh, two pieces of armor just the the kneecaps here which i have and then we'll do the the reverse kneecap armor uh, these pieces um are the same number so it doesn't matter if you if you mix them up whereas all of those other pieces are specific to those parts of the model uh, one thing I will say about this model is, unfortunately, unlike the full kit, you are stuck with this pose, um, which kind of sucks in a way, I think, because, uh, you know, it, yes, it's a static pose because it's got that massive quake cannon, um, but it would be, it would still be cool if you had it walking about, uh, you know, like you can with the Warlords to some extent so there you go all fully armored up uh, from the the legs let's uh, just put these these ones on the back again these are these have the same numbers and you can already see where they're gonna go uh, in these on the um, the piston uh, pieces here for the rear the Achilles part so we'll just see if we can pop that on that will go under the piston itself and that slots in beautifully like a little jigsaw and the same for this one try not to put too much glue on i think i'll put a bit too much glue on the first bit and yeah there you go try and keep your gaps equidistant if you can if possible uh, and there you go that's the full armored legs i thought i'd just show you this part of the uh, the process and now i can concentrate fully on the the body of the Titan, uh, which starts off with this uh, really cute uh, little door, blast door and everything, and uh, this little gantry way, which I think just uh, slots in, in there like so, which would be lovely. And you've also got a rear mounted um, Mauler bolt cannon, which will slot in just underneath. If you can see what I mean, it has to slot in, um, you know, parallel to, to those huge bolts and that just goes underneath it and um, nice i like the warbring titan that it's that it does have um kind of point defense the warlord does as well my warlord it has dual twin linked las cannons which yeah heavy weapons anyway um but it's nice uh, to see that this one even has a, a mauler bolt cannon um stop any anything getting too close uh to it but 
if something has got too close to it, then you're doing something wrong because, you know, it's a big artillery piece mainly and uh, it has that air defense with the uh, anti-air defense batteries as well. They are the Anvilus pattern defense batteries which have a 72 inch range in uh, 40k so nothing to be kind of scoffed at really. So there you go, that's uh, the next part of the build guide. What I will do in uh, part three is go through the carapace with you and start looking at all of the weapons. So hope you've enjoyed this video, join me for part three. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.